No, your wife. Oh, I'm wife. Okay, we're going to look at female lips today. We talked about the eyes the other day, so let's take a look at the drawing board here. Here's our dude. I'll go a little bit smaller. We've been doing our dude here, right, with his male eyes, his male nose, his male mouth. We'll do the nose on another lesson, but let's pop on the female eyes, right, and get rid of the hair. So we don't freak. And we'll talk about the hair a little bit later. And now let's blot out the mouth here. All right. So here's sort of the trick with the, and forget that this is a male nose. We'll get to that later. Here's sort of the trick on uh, the female. Uh, we'll go here, get another layer. Um, I always like, make sure you have this little V here that's sort of the center of their lips. And then I always think that for the most part, especially at resting, that the top lip on the female is sort of the puffier of the two, right? So I always like it to be that the top lip is almost a little bit of a triangle. So it goes up, down, and over this way. Uh, if I turn it here, if I go back up over here. And again, once you do that little V here, you can do the little V here. And I'm going to make her top lip kind of black just so it looks like there's a lot of shadow on it so we'll give her some shadow I'll come in with some lip gloss here in a minute um, and so we give the top lip is gonna be is gonna be kind of puffy and again you're gonna see it's like a little bit of a tint and then the other piece that you want to watch is that when you come down and do the bottom lip make sure that when you do the bottom lip you don't go to the very edges right here right you don't you don't go to the very edges you come in a little bit and if you look at people so if you come in here don't go to this point come in here just a little bit and then start rounding it up in here and then give a pretty heavy shadow down underneath here because again this is where you have a natural shadow because this is sort of the fattest part of anybody's lips up in here and you come up in here if you want her to have a little bit of an open mouth you can just sort of open it here like this and I'll show you what it looks like once I pull it away real quick so if I if I pull it away real quick you can see now she's got the open mouth and she's got a shadow down there or she has a shadow down there and then what you can do is you now come in here and depending on your color but we're gonna do black and white you give her a little bit of highlight you give her a little bit of wrinkles because everybody's everybody's uh, lips aren't quite perfect so you give her a little bit of that I come back in on the white and I can do a little bit here, do a little bit of sort of scratching up in here and you get just a bit of what the female should look like. So if we go here and we go back, I'll set the picture for you again. There's our female, there's our female lips there relative to the male. There's the male, right? She doesn't look quite as quite as pretty if she doesn't have the lips. The men, you don't have to really worry about the lips because it's not something that is defined because we don't put on lipstick. So again, there's the man's lips and there's the female, right? And the other thing we'll talk about too is that once you put hair on a lady, then it really it really starts to all fall into place. We're also going to talk about, let me just add one piece to this. A woman's jawline is usually lower than her lip here too. So even the men's jawline is a little bit different. If I was going to do this it would go if we get rid of this down here and we get rid of this down here see how high the jawline was the ladies usually come down a little bit more the faces are usually a little bit more skinny or a little more square so you get the jaw now down below this lip or even with the bottom right here right where the center is and then once you get down here then you can start to curve this and point this a little bit and then you get a little bit more of a female face and you don't get Get rid of that, and you don't get quite as square and as muscular a face, so you, you can get a little bit more feminine sort of look into it. So, anyways, that's our mouth for today. We'll go to the nose and the hair next time. Thanks for being there. Be good.